What happens if you take a phone and connect it to a keyboard, mouse and monitor? Well, normally nothing, but let's try it. Let's try this iPhone. Doesn't look like it's doing anything. Oh look. It mirrors, but can we use the keyboard and mouse? It doesn't look like we can. What about this Google Pixel 7 Pro? And we've got no sign of life whatsoever. And the keyboard and mouse doesn't work either. The final one we can try is this Samsung Galaxy S20. Whoa. It actually works. So this, my friends, is Samsung DeX, which basically transforms your Samsung phone into a full desktop experience. And I don't mean just screen mirroring. I'm talking about real multitasking with actual resizable windows that you can use and it's fully supported by keyboard and mouse. But can you really turn your phone into a fully fledged gaming PC? We're gonna be putting Samsung DeX to the ultimate test in this video. So you can connect your phone to a monitor in many ways. You can use a USB type C to HDMI cable, or you can even do it wirelessly with screen mirroring. You can even pair wireless keyboards, mice, and controllers to Samsung DeX as well. I'm gonna be using this USB type C dongle to connect my phone to the monitor, keyboard, and mouse. It makes the most sense to me having a direct wired connection and I just love how simple it is you just plug it in everything's all in there and ready to go the actual Samsung DeX operating system is really cool too if we have a look here it kind of reminds me of Windows 11 so look at the calendar layout kind of thing here this looks very Windows 10 like but then we've got the start menu which is very sort of Chrome OS like if you like and then obviously we've got the Windows which is very Windows like I guess so yeah this is just incredible how am I right running all of this off my phone. And if you're wondering, you can still probably use your phone alongside using Samsung DeX as well. So the phone that we're using is the Samsung Galaxy S20 5G. Now, unfortunately, since this is a UK based phone, we have got the Exynos processor, which doesn't have the best reputation. It gets very hot very quickly, unlike the Snapdragon counterpart, but we're gonna try and make it work in this video. So in terms of stuff that you can do on Samsung DeX, you can pretty much play mobile games. If they have keyboard and mouse support, you can play them with keyboard and mouse too, which is pretty cool. Now the monitor is what makes this setup so immersive. I mean, just look at it, it's huge. If you're curious what monitor is, it's the InnoCN 32 inch 4K mini LED monitor. InnoCN has kindly sent me this monitor to try out, but I've also got one of their portable monitors to give away to one of you guys. The colors are really bright and vivid. It's also got a 144 Hertz refresh rate, which is just buttery smooth. It's a really, really nice monitor. And it's in quite a cool color as well. And if you're wondering, our Samsung Galaxy S20 runs this monitor no problem in full 4K resolution. If you want to win an InnoCN 15.6 inch portable monitor, just like this, then you need to make sure that you're following InnoCN on Facebook and Twitter and tweet out hashtag InnoCN, hashtag Notre Dame giveaway, and we'll randomly select one of you. This giveaway is open exclusively for subscribers in Europe and the USA, so good luck to you all. We'll be picking a winner very soon, and you will be able to win a portable InnoCN monitor. Thank you to InnoCN for sending me their lovely monitor, and thank you to them for making the giveaway happen as well. Anyway, let's get on with gaming. All right, so it's time to do some gaming on Samsung DeX. So let's start off with some mobile games. What have we got? We've got some pre-installed Candy Crush. Let's see if Candy Crush will work on Samsung DeX. Now, I'm not sure if it's optimized to work with keyboard and mouse, but you could try. So yeah, Candy Crush does work with keyboard and mouse. And interestingly, it actually outputs the audio through the speakers in this InnoCN monitor. Right, that's enough of that. Let's try out Minecraft. So let's go with Minecraft Bedrock Edition or Minecraft Pocket Edition. All right, so here we are in a creative world on Minecraft Pocket Edition on Samsung DeX, and it works. We can actually play Minecraft with keyboard and mouse just like we would on PC. Can we go into full screen? That is the question. All right, so we can stretch the window and make it bigger. I was a bit worried there that we were kind of limited to a small box in the middle of the screen, but no, here we go. Full screen, Minecraft Bedrock Edition action. And yeah, since we're on a 32 inch monitor right now, it feels incredibly immersive. Oh, interesting. We've got the mobile UI. So even though we're playing on keyboard and mouse here, if we go into our inventory, it still thinks that we're playing with touch controls. It's all right performance. It's not the best. I do get quite a lot of lag spikes, as you can see just here. Let's do a quick little phone test. Oh, wow. It's not actually that hot. I thought that this would be like cooking right now because obviously the Samsung Exynos processor 
processor is not the coolest CPU in the world, but surprisingly, no problem at all. In fact, I've got another program here. We've got Ada64, which can actually tell you a lot more details about what we're running on right now. So the battery is on 35 degrees Celsius. Does it tell us the CPU temperatures? I'm not sure if it does. It tells us our RAM though, we've got 12 gigabytes of RAM in here. Not much available memory, so we're using quite a lot of RAM here on our phone. So since we're on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, we've obviously got the Minecraft Marketplace. Now my new texture pack, Lightning PVP pack, has just released on the Marketplace, and it's currently 660 mine coins. So yeah, it's a red and gold themed PVP pack, as you guys can see here. Very nice, took me forever to make this pack, literally. But I've also got some other packs on the marketplace as well, such as Astral 16X, which is a purple galaxy theme pack. And also I've got Rainbow Eclipse as well, which is an animated rainbow theme pack. So yeah, I've got lots of packs on the marketplace, lots more to come. Make sure to go check them out if you're a Bedrock Edition player on mobile, console, or even PC. So what kind of FPS can you expect on Pojav Launcher? with an S20. What? No, that can't be right. 200 FPS. Uh, I don't think we've got Optifine installed. No, literally this is it. 200 FPS. Wow, I was actually not expecting that performance at all. That is pretty crazy, actually. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. We'll put them up to where I'd normally have them on a regular PC. And still, that really hasn't changed much, actually. I mean, yeah, we've dropped down to about 100 or so FPS, but it's still perfectly playable, actually. What's the maximum FPS we can get? All right, so this is a super flat world. Super flat worlds have no structures or hills or terrain or anything. It's literally just a flat world. So the FPS should be the highest possible. Let's have a look. We've got 200, just under 200, 400 I saw there. So it is kind of hard to see because this tab thing's in the way, but we're actually getting quite good FPS. I mean, 300, the highest I've seen it get to is about 500, which is pretty good to be honest for what it is. Oh, I just saw 900 FPS there. We get a thousand FPS on a phone. If we can get a thousand FPS, I will be very surprised. Come on, you can do it. There we go, a thousand FPS. I'm not sure if you guys saw that on camera, but we just got a thousand FPS on Minecraft Java Edition running through Pojav Launcher, which is incredible. Now let's try the latest version, see how it runs on there, and then we'll try some other games. Right, so it'll be interesting to see what Minecraft 1.21 performance is actually like. So far, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's fairly smooth, but it's staying above 60, surprisingly. It's not dropping. This is actually quite playable. Now, I think it has actually thrown down our video settings. Yeah, I mean, the graphics run fast by default. The render distance is on two. Yeah, we'll throw it up to about seven and put the graphics on fancy and turn on the smooth lighting. Here we are. We're actually playing on settings that I'd probably normally play on my gaming PC. <laughs> this is actually quite good. This phone runs Minecraft better than some computers I've done videos on before. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it is lagging a little bit now. Now we've thrown up the settings, we're getting an average of about 45 FPS, I would say. So yeah, it does feel a bit laggy. So if you wanted to play 1.21 on your phone, probably should install Sodium Fabric. There we go, thrown down the video settings and it's nice and smooth again. We are definitely running this off my phone, by the way. The phone is connected into this USB-C hub and it's going straight to the monitor, the keyboard and the mouse. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try and play Fortnite. Now we can't get the PC version of Fortnite, so we're gonna load up the mobile version. Hopefully it supports keyboard and mouse, but I'm not really too sure. So we've got Fortnite opened up here, but we've got a bit of a problem. So first of all, we're in this small windowed mode, but that's fine. You can maximize it, the game has to re start but yeah you basically get the same problem and that's that my mouse and my keyboard don't seem to work so I can't click on anything on this main menu screen here I can't change the game mode can't view my locker I literally just can't interact with this thing at all and it's even worse when it's in full screen you've basically got a game that you can't quit you can't press anything and it's really annoying and kind of unfortunate because I was looking forward to playing Fortnite with keyboard and mouse on my phone the only way we're going to be able to get Fortnite running is through our nifty friend Nvidia GeForce Now. So playing on GeForce Now is kind of cheating. I mean, let's be honest. We're basically just playing on someone else's PC and streaming that to our phone. Lots of that I turned up into a gaming PC 
PC videos just use GeForce Now, so I'm not trying to be one of them. We're going to try and run games on the phone's hardware as much as we can, but it's just interesting to see what GeForce Now is like. I haven't used GeForce Now in ages, but we're getting good frames. The lag isn't too bad either, even though I'm just on Wi-Fi right now on my phone. It's still pretty playable. Now, one of the things about Samsung DeX and something that you don't realize is how quickly your battery drains. I've just been recording for an hour or so and my battery's nearly dead. We're on 13% right now. So I'm gonna go and charge up this phone and then we'll try something new. Okay, so we've basically just been playing mobile games on this setup, which isn't really a challenge for this phone. Now we have run NVIDIA GeForce Now on here, but that's too easy. I mean, come on, we're not actually running games on the phone's actual hardware. So I think in order to say that this phone could be a gaming PC, we need to run a PC game on it. But the question is, which one? And can we actually run a PC game on Android? Well, with this app called WinLater, we can do just that. So if we go onto the app here, you basically just get this sort of menu. So what this is doing is it's basically like running Windows on Linux, kind of. So I've created a container here, and if we go ahead and run it, it actually loads up a Wine-style desktop. And here we go, this is what it looks like. It's very kind of Windows-like, you know, you've got your file explorer, you've got your start menu down here as well. Now, for some reason, mine's all in Chinese because I downloaded a special version to try and work on this phone. You could probably get by with just the standard version, the APK file on the GitHub. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So the game that I've decided to install is Fallout 3. Now, gaming on Samsung DeX on WinLater is incredibly limited right now. You can't get Steam, you can't install any kind of Steam games. You can't install, obviously, Valorant or games that require an anti-cheat. So you're very limited and lots of people have the best luck using GOG games or repacks if you want to go down that route. Anyway, I've got Fallout 3 GOG. I've got the offline installer. I installed it on here and we're going to go ahead and run it. I know Fallout 3 it isn't the most modern game in the world. I believe it came out in 2009. So this game is probably older than most of you watching this video right now, but gaming on a phone, gaming on Samsung DeX, a proper PC game running, it is incredible. All right, so here we are running another game, GTA Vice City, which is quite an old version of GTA, but it does seem to run on Samsung DeX on the S20, admittedly in quite a small window in really, bad graphics. I'm not sure if this is the game itself or if it's just the low video settings we've got it on for this phone, but it runs, I guess. The story scene at least is playing well. Now, one of the big problems that I've had installing games through WinLater on this phone is the processor that it has. So if this had a Snapdragon processor in it, we would have so many options, but because we're using the Exynos 990 in this S20, the game selection is severely limited. And even if someone says it does work, it might not work for me. So I've had not the Best of luck running games on here, unfortunately, but take it where we can. We've got GTA Vice City running, I guess, somewhat well. No idea on the FPS, but it's for the era of game. Doesn't look too bad, I suppose. Right, so we've finally got into the game. We're past all that story phase and it's not doing anything. <laughs> My keyboard and mouse just don't work. Hello. This is the other problem as well. It's all well and good getting the game running, but then your keyboard and mouse doesn't work either. The app's frozen. <laughs> WinLater isn't responding. Oh dear. So yeah, we've still probably got a long way to go until a phone can officially play PC games, but we're definitely going in the right direction. And honestly, I didn't even think this was possible at the start of the video. Samsung DeX has really surprised me. We've got a full on desktop experience. We can play games. And honestly, it might give us an insight into what the future may look like. In the future, we might not even need PCs or laptops. We can just carry around our phones, connect them to displays, connect them to monitors, and just have our own computers inside our pockets. I'm honestly amazed at mobile processors and how far they've come. And uh, yeah, I definitely think some other manufacturers definitely need to try and do something like this. Because so far, it's only exclusive to Samsung phones, very specific Samsung phones. So maybe Google could do something like this with their pixel range. I think with Apple, we're probably gonna see this in the next 10 years. So yeah, that's the video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Something a little bit different today but I definitely thought this would be an interesting experiment to try. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and let me know in the comments if you want to see me do this on a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra 
or maybe even an S25 Ultra when that comes out. It'd be very interesting to see this sort of setup running on a Snapdragon. That could be something we could definitely do in the future. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.